don't lie to women. And some of you may think, oh no, he's fallen to the dark side. He's uh, turned into a, a fucking beta cuck white knight. Oh no. Nope, I'm not saying that. I'm telling you, don't lie to these bitches. <sighs> Discussing the philosophy of Patrice O'Neill. I saw a, a video on uh, YouTube. I believe the show, the Black Dr. Phil show. And uh, Patrice O'Neill, comedian, but I'd like to refer to <laughs> refer to him as a the modern philosophers. Um, I had a caller um, share a story about how he's getting more ass now by being honest. <clears throat> with such uh, poetry like uh, I just want to fuck you to women that he meets at bookstores and uh, I'm thinking of one uh, and beautiful big titty chick that I uh, that I met that uh, on day one we were Talking about uh, butt cheeks, asses, hairy asses, and just other shit. And uh, not with a straight, straight up perverted tone, but with my, uh, with what delivery just came at me at the moment. <clears throat> there are fucking punks out there that'll say, and and they've told me, you know, don't don't talk to her like that. Treat her like a lady. You know, you need to learn how to be more tactful, more nice, and yeah, you don't talk like that to to a lady. And uh, but as soon as. The bitch leave the motherfuckers like damn did you see those fucking titties I would just love to suck on those fucking titties and in my head I'm thinking let me translate that for you you pray the motherfucker that I will um, get sprung on that pussy for a couple weeks going raw knock her up and be like huh? oh well didn't work out that ah, she cheated on me eh. I wasn't enough of a man for her eh. <clears throat> well, I guess you'll hit me with the child support um, in nine months, huh? Oh well. Oh, because uh, I wanting to be a fucking fake ass motherfucker, you know it's <laughs> and uh, setting yourself up for a um, for a headache, man. And 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 again, I and I think. It shouldn't be just don't lie to women, just, just don't lie. Someone would say, well, what do you do if uh, someone says, uh, go ask you, someone you care for, someone you're dating, someone you're married to, someone you're fucking, someone you're engaged, engaged to. Does this dress make me look fat? If you really want to, I guess, play it extra safe with tact, dipped in gravy, in the gravy of tact, um, just say I don't answer those sort of questions. There's no right answer. <coughs> just say just you don't answer those sort of questions. <coughs> and I think uh, Dr. John Peterson had brought that up. So now. Uh, I don't want to tell you all this. Um, cuckish bullshit. But but again, I... With the um, unpleasant conversation... I had recently... 
you know, people will tell me, well, Doug, well, you're not married, Ben. You, know, you should be having kids. You should be, you know, throwing money into a 401k and getting ready to retire. I thought, on a side note, because not too often. <laughs> away from the conversation of that topic of that moment was that the 401k I believe is a, it it's a racket Wall Street is a racket in my opinion uh, that's what Al Capone called it and I believe it and I still believe it and uh why would I retire if I, if I if I if I can't if I can't even hold a pencil if I'm fucking whatever 70, 60 years old, 80, 90, and I could barely hold a pencil like this and this is all I could do? This is me, right? 70, 80, 90 years old. I figured that I will still do that. And I will still try to earn a buck from uh, prints, shirts or other stuff that I could sell. So why the fuck would I retire and just be like, Sonny, let me tell you one thing. You know, back in my day, we used to draw a lot. You know, how about let my fucking uh, action, let my behavior represent me. Not, don't let me live out of my fucking past. Let me live out of the fucking present. That there's, look, look, fucker. I'm 90 years old and I'm still fucking going after it. I got uh, food, which is water and bread, and I'm in peace. I'm real good. But I guess some people just uh, believe that, no, we're supposed to retire and have um, an income that uh, allows you to rent and just play golf and watch TV and and you know, vote for Hillary, and um, you know, the patriarchy, you know, we're oppressed, you know, the rich white people, you know, they, they work so hard, they make so much money, and look at them, they're in the walled up, gated community, because um, they earned that through profits and making shit happen. And and, and we, we should, and we deserve that, we deserve some of that, you know, <laughs> they have an extra bedroom. They have an extra bedroom. Well, I could live in one of the closets. They don't have to be so greedy. Uh, no. I don't buy that fucking shit, man. And, uh, and I bring this up because this, it, it, it snowballs into that. Into other sort of fucking delusional behavior. <clears throat> Again, one of the major cunts that told me, um, what which I'll say, I'm thankful for her existence. existence. He said, oh, he can't draw. Fucking bitch. <laughs> With her uh, lack of tact. But she was right. But it made me think, man, you know what? Um, if I get more customer experiences like this, I'm not going to last in this tattoo world. I better start practicing. And... Um, no, here I am now, uh, going from almost the majority of uh, Tijuana to Vancouver, Canada, from Venice Beach to Houston, Texas, and a lot of it on foot, man. And I've made a buck, um, not from fucking saying, I'll tell you what I'll do. Yo, you gotta get this, you gotta get that. Check it out, man. Let me know if you want to make a deal. And, um, to put it simply, it's, it's, oh, wow, man, it, that, it, it's made me grow, it's fucking put, um, butter, <laughs> and, butter on my bread, and the, and, and the steak next to it, <sighs> and, uh, simply by, by being me. And you, you can look a lot of, at a lot of my drawings, and they're not all warm and fuzzy shit, but I'm not gonna fucking be like... 
Let me draw my little pony, or let me just draw SpongeBob. Or let me just draw um, Strictly Family Guy, or Strictly, you know, safe, um, warm and fuzzy shit. Just, just, just Simpson stuff, or just um. No man, how about some biomechanical? How about some fucking um. Some anti-Muslim artwork, which has gotten people killed. The, like the people that, that work for uh, Charlie Hebdo. <clears throat> From the death cult known as Islam. And, uh, and I'm, not, I'm not living fucking fat. Fat, 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 fat. I'm not living in extreme luxury. I, I am in luxury again because uh, I have food, water, shelter. Um, wow, man, I got uh, some doggies. That's the year 2017, man. And, and right now I could fuck off. I could just say, hey, you know what? Oh, man, I'm so stressed out. I can't. I can't. There's so many tries I gotta make. I bet. Let me just go to Starbucks. I quit. I need a frappuccino. Um, and I've got that 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 gift, the ability, the ability to do that. And uh, no, I'm like, fuck. I got all of this. I got all of this, I'm fucking awesome, I'm fucking, fuck, but so much as possible, let me focus on this, I'll add to that, print that out, have this ready, ready, and I'll have the expansion, the collection of work grow, um, no, I, I think, um, things are, are looking good, because I'm making them good, I will earn more by becoming more, and, uh, and this comes again from not, not just not lying to women or these bitches or just just don't fucking lie motherfucker especially don't lie to yourself and now I'm thinking about the fucking coward punk who gives me such a criticism that I think with your limited point of view, I love you, babe. I love you. I love you. I love you. Then knocking someone up and abandoning the fucking kid. No, I can't see. I can't see the kid. I got video games to play. Oh my goodness! The whole world is unfair. It's against me. Again. These are my superpowers. Not, not fucking. There's no uh, fairy dust on them. It's, it's my, um, it's my decision to make it happen. I can fucking think, draw, erase, sketch, plan, brainstorm, go online, fucking look. Or I could just fucking waste time play on apps, play video games, scratch my ass, and be like, "Oh my God, why, why haven't things got better? Why, why, why does?" Because eventually the, the conversation will come. <clears throat> that kid who grew up with some psychological problem. Father, father, mother. Parents, why did you abandon me? You know, in, in order, searching for the truth, and instead of just saying, you know what, I'm a coward, I'm a lazy fuck. I didn't want to. Um, you were not worth the pursuit. You, you were not worth me getting up earlier every day for me to um, make something happen. No, my, my pillow, my nice and warm pillow was much more important than you, much more valuable to me. But even then, people like that will be like, 
Well, I didn't know any better. All right, all right, dickhead. And 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 we keep on accepting those answers. Don't worry. We'll keep on reproducing this sort of behavior. And uh, and oh man, what about your kids? Don't you you know? You know what about you? Weren't you pain of the year? You know, I don't have any kids because they know how expensive they are. I'm not. They're not some fucking goldfish. Oh, it died. Oh, just give it some flakes. Oh, if it died, let's flush it in the toilet. Nah, whatever. Whatevs. But uh, some people treat kids like that. And it's fucking evil. Evil. Yeah, how could you say that, man? It's too harsh. Shut the fuck up, man. You critique me for saying that. But a fucking kid will look out the window. Ooh. <clears throat> and people will think yeah, you should be talking about that, like that about that okay I'll, I'll shut up you know what I'm just gonna ignore all the kids Thanksgiving Halloween and New Year's are coming up how many of them are just gonna stare out the bedroom window look sit across at the, the dining table and be like man no one's here. All I have is my teddy, little dolly, my favorite blanket, and, um, and that's where snakes move in. Creepy ass motherfuckers, evil motherfuckers, lying motherfuckers. See a vulnerable person that needs the attention. Twist them to their agenda. Take advantage of them. All right, fucker. Yeah, I'm the asshole. No. Let's get some water. <coughs> and things like this I've discussed with a lot of people. A lot. And, uh, and, and it, it pains me because I've seen, I, I, I can take the pain. I can absorb the hit and be like, fuck, that, that really sucks. Let's go forward. But there are people that will, <clears throat> will get hit with this, will, will let the, the pain that will marinate on this pain and be like, I've, I've got to shoot something up my my vein. I got to start something up my nose. Well, I guess I can't leave my abusive boyfriend. Uh, well, you know what? I'll, I'll marry her, even though I don't love her. But I just I'm scared of being alone. Um. Or you know what? I'll just end up. They'll just think of quitting life. And I'm like, no, don't, don't. <laughs> There's so much to do. Again, it's, it's no superpowers here, man. None. And, and those are the um, sort of uh, states of mind um, positions that people will put themselves in because they... Uh, um, let's not talk about that because it's uncomfortable. It's not, it's not warm and fuzzy talk. But... Uh, Oh man. There's much to do in this world. And as usual, no excuses. Make it happen. Go forward. <clears throat>